Hello everyone, welcome to Motivation Monday, my day where I get to share a fun project or two with you. Uh, you will not be seeing my face today because I have a sty in my eye and it is uh, like the infections like in half of my face. It is not pretty. <laughs> so that's okay. You don't need to see my face. You're here to see some fun stamping. So how is everybody doing? Did you have a good weekend? We did. We stamped a lot of projects this weekend. This was our very delightful uh, online card class in the mail weekend. And we had a lot of fun stamping together. Hello, everyone. It's so fun to see you popping on. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, before I go any further, I just want to remind you, if you have any questions as we go through, please write those in all caps. That will help me to see those questions as they scroll through. And if I go back and check for questions, it's much easier to find them that way. We will be having a door prize drawing today. And I wanted to tell you how you can get in on our door prize drawing for next week. The first way is just by putting a comment here today, saying hello, introducing yourself. If, if this is your first time here, uh, let me know if you share. If you share, that is another way to get a ticket into the door prize drawing. And I don't always uh, have a chance to see who shared. I see the number of people that shared, but not necessarily who shared. So be sure to let me know how you share. That's a very interesting thing for me to read. And the last way to uh, get a prize ticket is to go to my genieseoli.stampinup.net website and place an order. It can be any dollar amount and that will get you a door prize drawing ticket as well. So you have three ways to win. And if your order is more than $50, you will be invited to our mystery stamping event on May 2nd. If you're not familiar with what the mystery stamping event is, I send you the products that you need to create two fun projects and you won't know what those projects look like until you follow the clue. So if you place an order before April 25th, please use the host code QDQBVR4J. Uh, when you place your order, and that will get you into the mystery stamping. Remember, it has to be a minimum of $50 spent throughout the month. So it can be one order, or it could be 10 orders, or more orders, <laughs> whatever gets you to that $50 merchandise minimum amount. So we would love to have you join us for the fun. As of April 26th, I will be giving you a new host code for our June mystery event. So be sure to check out our Facebook group here for what that new code is after April 25th. Yay! Oh, so that's so fun. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, Polly likes my directions. Thank you so much, Polly. I worked so hard on those. They are the, uh... yeah, anyway. <laughs> I worked really hard on those, so it's happy to hear that you like them. All right, so we have uh, several people here, so I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I usually like to talk for a little bit to give more people to a chance to sign on, but uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, move on here. Let's go with our uh, door prize drawing. And that is for posting last week. And our winner is going to receive the, well, let me bring you down to the desk that I was showing you and you couldn't see. <laughs> you are going to win the Gallery Grunge stamp set. This is a great little uh, stamp set for adding uh, backgrounds to your projects, so fun. And our winner, of this stamp set is Marianne Dawes. Marianne, congratulations! Woohoo! 
Let me write your name on a post-it note here so I don't forget who to send this is. Send this to, but Marianne, congratulations on your win. Marianne. Okay. Let me do that. And I'll set that over here to where I can send that out. I had a lot of price dry, uh, prices that I gave away during our bingo class this past weekend. So I will get all those shipped out tomorrow morning. So Marianne, your gift will go uh, along with that. So yay. All right, so as you can see, today's project is going to feature the sweet ice cream stamp set. This is the bundle of project products that I absolutely love. And yes, we are going to do an online class with this set in May. I just haven't determined the date yet, but we will be using this. And want the card that we're uh, making today is going to be featured in that class as well. So if you're not familiar with the suite, you can find it on page 49 of your mini catalog. And it's got the stamp set. It has a matching punch that is fabulous. And it has this great designer series paper. Look how fun all these are. Ooh, so fun, so fun, so fun, so fun. So pretty, I love all these colors. The best thing about the stamping up paper is that it is two-sided, love that. So you get two patterns. And what's nice is you have the one pattern that's pretty specific on the one side, and then you have the pattern that's pretty generic that you would be able to kind of use with anything. So when you're looking at our designer series paper, be sure to look at the alternate patterns because these can be used for years and years and years, but hopefully you won't keep them long. Hopefully you'll be making cards and using up those papers. So just love these. But I have to say, when I got this, I was a little confused by the sheets that look like this. So we had it in the purple, we had it in the blue, and then we had it in the, the yellows and oranges. And I was like, okay, that's kind of a random pattern paper, not real sure. Guess I'll be using the reverse side until I realized that the idea is that you use the punch to punch out the ice cream out of these different textures. And so they look great as the ice cream scoop and you will see that on our project today. So I don't know, other people may have realized that right away. Me, not so much. It took me a minute to figure out what they were doing. Okay, so let's get started on our project. Our project was um, inspired by a card that I received from Sophia, our friend Sophia. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am not going to show you hers first. I will show you her card at the end that just blew me away. But if you see hers, you're gonna go, oh yeah, okay, Jeannie, yours was fine, but Sophia's was fabulous. <laughs> so I will show you that at the end. It is worth the wait. All right, now the sweet strawberry bundle, hold on, I'm gonna get my catalog a second. Okay, the sweet, I just wanna make sure I'm right here. Sweet strawberry, 43. I can't show you the new catalog yet. I can show you the cover. I can tease you with that. All of your catalogs, if you've placed an order with me in the last six months, your catalogs have already been sent to you. If you haven't received it yet, it is coming. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like to receive a catalog, just send me a message. Uh, go ahead and send me a private message with your address if I don't have that and I will get one of these catalogs right out to you. But we are not allowed, this catalog goes live on May 4th, and we are not allowed to show you any of the images inside until it launches. But I wanted to let you know, let's see, sweet ice cream. Sweet ice cream. Okay, that is, that the 
sweet ice cream stamp set will be in the new catalog. The punch will be in the new catalog, but that designer series paper that I just showed you is retiring. So if you're not planning to do my class with the uh, ice cream set, then you'll want to order this paper before it's, before it's gone. You will not be sorry. It is fabulous. Okay, so let me show you what we're making today. I never know whether to make it a surprise or show you, but here's the card we're making today. Isn't that so fun? And then it opens up and it kind of stands like this. So it stands really well when someone wants to have it on their table for a while. So super cute. So let me show you how that's done. We are going to start with a piece of uh, Bermuda Bay cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half. And as always, I will put these measurements on my website. I will try to have that done by tomorrow as well. I still think I owe you last month, uh, last week's instructions. So I'll get both of those uh, put onto, onto the website, stampwithjeannie.com. So you'll have all of the measurements and all of the products that are used. So you can make notes as we go along if you'd like to, but you don't need to uh, because you'll have them on the website. So I'll scroll down here. Okay, so we have that. And then we're gonna have, let me just kind of, well, let's see. I'll tell you the pieces as we go through. Next, we're going to have a piece of pool party cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna, come on, there we go. We are going to glue that to the inside of our card. And then I cut a piece of the Popsicle DSP to uh, three and th 13 sixteenths by five and one sixteenths. I know it's a weird size, but it fits really well on that uh, pool party background here. And so I am going to be using the stripe side of this paper. And look at that stripe. You could use that for so many different things. And it's so colorful. I love all the colors. So we're gonna glue that right in the center of our pool party cardstock. Okay, now we're gonna take this front flap and we are gonna fold it backwards to the fold line. Just like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna open that back up and on the inside here, I am going to put a piece of the pool party, this piece, <laughs> that is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So don't forget, if you see something that you like today, be sure to give me that thumbs up or send some love. That inspires me to keep going, makes me happy knowing that you like what you see. So we're gonna glue that right to the center here. Now we have a piece of the pool party that is one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And I'm going to glue that right up here. Okay, so we have our inside of our card pretty much done. Then I have a piece of the uh, Bermuda Bay that is two by eight and a half, and I have scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. Now, the paper has uh, fibers to it, and it actually has a grain in the paper. So when you go to uh, fold a piece of paper at the eight and a half inch side here, you don't have to worry about scoring it. It will, you will be folding along with the grain. But when you try to fold the other direction, Sometimes your folds can split along the fold line. 
So if you're going to be folding the paper in the other direction, you're going to want to score it first, and that will give you a nice crisp edge. Okay, so if you fold it widthwise, you don't have a problem, but if you fold it lengthwise, you're going to want to score your folds. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and fold this, and this one gets folded in half this way, and then this side is going to fold towards the, the uh, fold line. Okay, so you have it just like that. But let's decorate this little strip here first. And so I have a piece of the pool party that is one and three quarters by four. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on this four inch edge side. Okay, so we're going to put that right in the middle of that four inch side. And then I have two pieces that are one and three quarters by one and seven eighths. And I just want to make sure which way I'm putting these on. Would have been so much easier if I made them one and three quarters by one and three quarters, but no. That would be too easy. So we have those on there. And then we have our white, long white strip, and I'm going to stamp that. And these little sentiments on here are so cute. I love it. I had a hard just time deciding which one I was going to use this morning. But because I'm using this nice long piece, I am going to use the happy birthday and then the, well, with sprinkles on top. So I'm going to use the... Happy birthday with the Bermuda Bay ink. And look, I just put my finger right into it. I swear, I'm the messiest stamper. Okay. We're going to take this and let's stamp our happy birthday right up there. And then I'm going to switch to the Puppy Parade. And that will be my wood sprinkles on top. And I'm going to put that right down here. Great. Close that up so I don't add poppy parade to my Bermuda Bay thumb. All right. And then I have, oh, I don't think I told you this piece is one and nine sixteenths by three and 13 sixteenths. And then I have two white pieces that are one and 11 sixteenths by one and nine sixteenths. And I'm going to take these and I am going to emboss them with the painted texture 3D embossing folder. If you look at this pattern, it really looks like a scoop of ice cream when you add it to your cardstock. So we are going to take all of these and put them in Oops, that piece of glue on it. Put those in our embossing folder. You always want to emboss with the um, logo on top unless you want the reverse. If you want a depressed image uh, or a debossed image, you would flip this over and have your pieces on top. If you want an embossed image, you want the Stampin' Up! logo on top, and you always want to put the folded side of your embossing folder into the machine first. Okay, so now these pieces have this fun texture on it. I don't know if you can see that, but super fun. It really does look like a scoop of ice cream. Okay, so we have a few more pieces to glue on here. So I'm going to glue our little happy birthday strip on here. Okay, 
and then our two little white squares, almost squares, are going to go on here. Then I have a piece of the uh, designer series paper that looks like the sprinkles. Yay, Ida, thank you for sharing. I love to see when you share. That really helps me out. It helps me grow our uh, viewers and gets my page noticed more in Facebook. So I really appreciate that. All right, so we have our pattern papers and then all of our little strips here. Now we have our little happy birthday. So I'm going to take this right side of the, that's folded from the fold line and I'm going to put adhesive all the way across here because I want that to really stick there. And we're going to put that right at the bottom right of the card, just like that. Okay, then we're going to close that. We're going to, hold on, we're going to close that. And then we're going to glue this left side. So it looks like this got folded a little bit weird. Did I not get my, okay, well, we're going to glue the left side of this. For some reason, it didn't look like it was going right, but it should be going right. Okay. So I just put adhesive just on this part down here, and I'm going to close this over and bring that to the left side here. So hopefully that will close. There it is. It closes right. So there it goes. It goes just like that. So you can see the different levels. So fun. Let's add some ice cream. Mmm. So I think I, I posted that. I really wanted a hot fudge sundae this morning and I shouldn't be eating that. So this is the next best thing. <laughs> so I got my ice cream fix. I wanted to show you when you uh, punch through designer series paper, the paper is much thinner than the cardstock and you might get some white edges. If you look at our paper, there's white in between these two pattern sheets. And so when you punch just one layer, sometimes the punch, because it's so strong, kind of rips the edges a little bit. So the way that I do it is I'm just going to take this. I just have, this is a one and a half inch strip, and I'm going to just kind of roll it in half. I'm not folding it, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, and then I can punch just the cone part of the punch. So I'm just going to put that in. And I'll punch that and that makes it thicker so it doesn't kind of rough up the edges as much. But I'm going to need to kind of take this off so I can go to the next one. Take off the excess and go to the next one. Okay, and I'm trying really hard not to fold that paper. Okay, so I can just punch that one now. Now I have a piece in the middle that had I have folded this, it probably would not have been able to be used, but I have the one that I did this morning for my sample. I'll be able to take these and just overlap them and then punch through both layers here. So you're not wasting all of this paper or having to punch out uh, the triangle just out of a single layer where you'll get that rough edge. Okay, so that's a little tip for you. Tip for the day. Okay, let me get these out of the way. All right. So another thing I wanted to show you is when you are going to punch your, your ice cream scoops, sometimes it's hard to get that, that punch in the right direction because these are all different sizes of, 
of uh, areas here. So it's kind of hard. So what I did was I just go ahead and let's see, I need to have the, I went one of these. So as you can see, I can't really get my punch into this one all that well. So I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of cut that area out that I want to punch out of. So I have that. And now I'll be able to slide that into my punch and get it the way I want. But sometimes your little piece that you cut out is a little bit small. So when you're trying to get it into your punch, it's kind of hard to maneuver it. So if you just take a post-it note and put your paper on the sticky edge, then you have a whole handle to maneuver your papers whatever way you would like to maneuver them. Okay, so you can see I can do this much easier than trying to get this to be in there by itself, get it in the right spot. So we are just going to take that and I can use my post-it note as a handle and then just punch out my little scoop. So that post-it note really works well as a handle when you're trying to punch a small piece. Okay. All right. So I have gone ahead and punched a bunch of scoops out of the different colored paper. And we just punched our cones. So we need five cones. And let's go ahead and glue those to our card. So I am going to use a uh, multi-purpose adhesive for this one. And I just want to kind of stick that down behind the frame a little bit, making sure that I have enough room to put my ice cream scoop on top. I'm going to glue the ones on the small white squares, I'm going to use multi-purpose adhesive for those. And let's see, I'll put this this way. And I will put this one this way. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your ice cream scoop doesn't go above your strip here. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead, since I have my multi-purpose adhesive out, I'm going to go ahead and just add my ice cream scoops to my cones here. So once again, I want to stay within that Bermuda base strip. So that one, and then let's do this green one. Our little pistachio ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? That would be fun. I want to know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Okay, so my ice cream scoop here doesn't have a lot of pattern on it. My little, I'm going to call it peach ice cream. I'm going to add a few sprinkles with the, or a few dots with the little dot stamp that came in this set as well. For those of you that don't have dot cluster stamp in your collection yet, this is a great one. So let's use the Poppy Parade ink, and I'm just going to add some dots to that one. Let me try that again. Oh, that's better. Okay. All right. So now it looks more like strawberry ice cream. Okay. And for the rest of them, I am going to put everything on Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, so let me flip all these over. 
and we are going to match everything else with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I have the mini dimensionals that I'm going to put down in the tip of the cone. And then I have our regular dimensionals. And I'm going to be pretty um, generous with my dimensionals here. Oh, look, it looks like a frog. <laughs> They do, they look like little little animals. I usually just draw a straight line on my dimensionals, but last night, for some reason, I decided to dot them all, and now I feel like they're all looking at me. So anyway, because this is designer series paper and I have not uh, mounted it uh, on any cardstock to make it a little bit thicker, I'm going to go ahead and add some strength to each of these pieces with the dimensionals instead. Okay, so if you wanted to add cardstock to the back of this, if any pieces are hanging over, which actually they don't really look like they are, so I could have gotten away with just uh, a few dimensionals, but since I've already done this, I'm going to keep going here. I have some more faces. <laughs> Ooh, Swiss orange chip. Ooh, that sounds good. Yum, yum, yum. Who else? Peanut butter and chocolate chip. Yum, yum, yum. Mine is cherry chocolate chip. I love cherry chocolate chip, and it's so hard to find. Uh, ben and Jerry's has a really good cherry chocolate chip, but it's not as good as... Um, I think it was Briars or Dryers came out with a cherry chocolate chip that was just the best. And um, for some reason, they stopped selling it. I guess I didn't eat enough. I tried. Okay, so we're just going to start adding our little cones here. I'm going to put one this way. When you add your cones, you just have to be careful that you don't go over any area that's going to be closing on you. For example, I wouldn't want to put one right here because then it would be right at the bend of my card. So I'm just going to put it over this way. Okay, so we have all of the cones we need, it looks like. Okay, and now let's add our ice cream. Yum! Okay, does anybody else want to go get some ice cream right now? Ooh, Jerry's Chunky Monkey. Yum, 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 yum. So good. Okay, I so want ice cream right now. All right, so we're just going to add that one there. Let's add this one over here. I should have done that to look like chocolate chips. Okay, I don't have any ice cream in the house, but I do have chocolate chips, which might be gone in just a short time. Okay. Evidently, I can't stamp hungry. Okay, so cute, cute, cute. Now this looks fine the way it is. You could stop here if you wanted to, but I'm not stopping. So first thing I'm going to do, since we have the with sprinkles on top, I'm going to add sprinkles to our little greeting square here. So this is where you would write your greeting. Something like, I hope you have a yummy, licious birthday. So you just add some sprinkles there. Or you could write, put a piece of white cardstock on the back here and write your sentiment there, or your greeting there. Okay, so we have some sprinkles there. Let's add some more dots, of little candy dots. So I have a bunch of different colored dots here. 
and I'm going to use the uh, mini dots to put these on. So let's see, what do I have here? Let's just start putting these on. So I have one up here. That is the Bermuda Bay. There's another Bermuda Bay. Let's put that one over here in this corner. And we'll put the yellow one on top of that. So these are 3 eighths of an inch and half inch circles that I just punched out. Um, unfortunately, Stampin' Up! decided not to carry their circle punches anymore. We're all confused by that, but they, they have die cuts for circles, but not this small. We all wish that they had not taken those away because they are so useful. So if you are interested in circle punches, we don't have a lot left, but if you don't have those in your collection, you may want to add those before they are gone as well. Okay, so this is a Poppy Parade. This is Granny Apple Green. This is the Diamond Heather. Let's add another yellow one there. Let's add a green one over here. And let's see, we'll do a, let's do a large purple heather, large highland heather, don't call it purple. Put that there. And another daffodil delight. So I'm just putting dots everywhere. Now, if you wanted to, you could write little M's on these and they would look like little M and M's popped all over the card. So, okay, so I have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm seeing this and I'm only seeing a little tip of the purple and the green, the Highland Heather and the Granny Apple Green. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring this back open here. I'm going to put a, a mini glue dot just at the edge of our circles here. And then I'm going to close this up and I'm going to match that Highland Heather circle to the one on the inside so it's covered when it's closed. So it may not bother you to have just a little piece of that dot showing, but this makes it even more fun when the card is closed. So it looks just like that. So those will close over the top here and then go back and forth. So there you go, there is our card. But if you would like to step this up a little bit more, you can use our shimmer uh, crystal effects to color all these dots. And so hopefully you can see I have done that and they've got a little bit of like a gel dot look with some sparkle in it. Okay, so that took a, long, a little while to dry. So I did that this morning. So you can see, so you can have it be just the dot the way it is, or you could add that crystal effects on top and get those, those little gel dots to pop. So it looks really cute. All right. And so the other thing that I did, I don't know if you can see, but I did add a little bit of our shimmer. Our little shimmer paint. I'm, sure I'm forgetting what the name of this is. Oh my goodness. Wink of Stella. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wink of Stella. I just added that to give our, our ice cream cones kind of a little frosty look. So hopefully you can see that a little bit. So woohoo, there is our card. So let me show you, I will do one of the dots here just so you can see how to use this um, crystal effects. So all I'm gonna do, it ha it's got a nice tip to it and you're just gonna squeeze that onto the color and I just kind of go around in a circle. You wanna keep it on the dot and just kind of swish it around, make sure you cover the entire dot and then I 
kind of bring the end to the middle and, and kind of push it a little bit, push in and lift up a little bit. It's kind of like frosting a cupcake. And so the uh, end part will melt into the middle there. Okay, so that's how you would add that paint. And you can see it's a little frosted looking. So when it's dry, it dries clear. So you can see that. So fun. All right, that is our project for today. Oh, I was going to stamp an envelope. Let's do that. So we have from our sweet ice cream, we have all the components we need to make some fun ice cream. So I am going to use the cone here and cinnamon cider ink. So I am just going to stamp random cones here. like that and then I have we have the little hash marks stamp awesome and I am going to use early espresso for that so I'm just going to add our little hash marks into each one of those cones so cute Woo! love it love it love it Okay, so now for the ice cream, I'm going to need to be able to clean my stamp. So let me open my little Sammy here. Shammy. I call it a Sammy, but it's a Shammy. All right. And I wanted to show you how to get the double texture on your cones, your ice cream. So what we're going to do is we are going to load up. I didn't do very well at uh, separating those. So my ice cream is going to be okay so here's what i'm going to do i didn't do very well so we will take care of that i actually love it when i make a a little bit of a mistake because then i can show you how to fix it if you make the same one i don't call it a mistake i call it a creative opportunity so we are just going to take three post-it notes And I am going to stamp to use the same color because I don't want to muddy anything up here. So I'm just going to go along where the sticky is on my post-it note. Take my scissors. Luckily, this is a real quick and easy one. And so I am just going to make a mask out of the post-it note. Not sure that's going to work because now my little scoopy parts aren't going to show very well, but it's better than I could have just started a new envelope, I guess. So recommendation is to stamp your cones further apart. Keep in mind where your scoops are going to be. Okay, so now I just have that covered up. Let's try this, see what it looks like. Right, so I'm going to load up my ice cream scoop with Daffodil Delight. And then I'm going to take a sponge dauber and just dab along the edge with Poppy Parade. And so now, let me put a piece of paper underneath here because I'm going to make a mess. Okay, and I'm going to take my scoop and I'm just going to put it up here like this, and you can see you got the two different shades. So now I'm going to clean this. I know I just got this out of here. Okay. And now I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. So I'll need a new dauber. Scoop. I'm looking for my ice cream scoop. Okay, I'm going to load it with the Granny Apple Green and add the Bermuda Bay to the edge here.
So I know I'm not going to like this very well because I would rather have the ice cream scoops on top rather than the cones on top, but at least I'm not wasting the envelope, right? Okay. And then let's go with the Poppy Parade and Blackberry Bliss. Uh, ice cream scoop. And I'm going to do the Poppy Parade, but I'm going to stamp that off once because I don't want it to be quite that dark. Now I will use this to add, and I think I'll put the shading on the other side this time. And put this over here. And we're just going to have that be right like that. And let's see what it looks like. But oh, let's uh, add a few. Let's add a few color dots first. Though. So we have our little dots, and we did those. Oh, that's the sprinkles. Where'd my dots go? Here's dots. So I'm going to add. I'm going to just add some of the poppy parade dots to that cone or scoop. And then for this one, I will add the Bermuda. We want to make sure we get that right into there. Clean our stamp real well. And then I will do the Blackberry. Right there. There we go. All right, let's see what our envelope looks like now. Let's we pull our... Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. So I think I am going to take our little sprinkles here because you know I like to have Kind of dots around. I'm going to make some chocolate chips floating off to the sides here. So I'm going to kind of fill in a little bit of this area with some little chocolate sprinkles here. There we go. I like that better. All right. So there's a real fun envelope. So who isn't going to just smile when they get that in their box before they even open the card? That's so fun. So there's that. And I can't really close this. So there it is open. And I guess I can close this one. And there it is closed. So there you can see your fun, super sweet, happy birthday card. And it's my son David's birthday this month. And so he's getting this in the mail. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. All right, so Elaine is asking me what I use to clean my stamp, and I use the Stampin' Up! chamois. It looks really bad here, but it's just a, a staining the chamois. This is just wet with water, and so I clean it on this side, and then I clean it on this side just to get any excess off. So this is what I use to clean it. And then after I'm done stamping, I will go back and use my scrubber my scrub pad with the mist because the stamping mist cleans and conditions your stamps and will help them last for as long as they possibly can last. So, so there is our card. Let me show you the inspiration card and you're going to be amazed at how just changing the designer series paper and changing the either die cuts or stamps that you use you can get a totally different feel. Thank you so much for all those hearts. I love that. I love it. I love it. So makes me happy to see those. All right. So there's that. But let me show you. This is the card that Sophia sent me that was the inspiration for today. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? It's stunning. And so it's this is the card that she sent when my mother-in-law passed away a few weeks ago. So, and then she has, you can see 
she put the uh, sentiment and her greeting on the back of the card. So it works just fine. But this is just, I love this. Uh, you can't really see it, but it just sets up on your desk so nicely for display. But isn't that just gorgeous? And that is the Butterfly Gala product, I think. Let me double check that. So you could use the Butterfly Bouquet products to make this card, which is what our next class is next weekend. It is sold out, the Butterfly Bouquet. Uh, that class is sold out, but you can still buy the tutorials, the PDF tutorials, and make the cards on your own if you would like to. Um, I meant to look up what the name of this was, but if anybody knows, let me know. But I think, it, yeah, hers is uh, Butterfly Beauty. So it's this, oops, it's this die right here. So it is still available, but I believe it's retiring. So you want to make sure if you like this and want to be able to make a stunning card like this one, you'll want to get that before it goes. I should double check to see. Let me double check. I'm speaking off the top of my head and that is not a good thing. Butterfly. Butterfly. Yes, it is retiring. So, um, like I said, but the butterfly bouquet is not, and it's the similar, similar thing where it's a die that cuts out all of the butterflies at once. But it's a totally different style. I love this butterfly as well. So, beautiful. So there's one, an elegant one, and here's one that's just super fun. I don't want to push that down because I'm not, I'm afraid my dots aren't dry yet. So I'll put it down a little bit. There you go. So there you go. That is it. Okay, so what do we need for next week's class? Uh, you're going to need the Butterfly Bouquet products and that is let me grab the right catalog here oh it's over here where did i put it we were just using it you want the butterfly for the class let me see where that is butterfly 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 where are you i thought it was in here is it in here Anybody know? Oh, maybe it's in the main catalog. I have, I have three or four catalogs I'm working out of here right now. Butterfly. There we are. Butterfly. It's not wishes. So yeah, it says butterfly. I don't know. It's here somewhere. Well, here. I have the product right here. <laughs> yeah, so butterfly brilliance is the one you're going to need for this weekend. And it also has the matching die set that cuts these all out at one time. And it matches the designer series paper, so you can cut out all those butterflies at one time as well. Woo, yay! Oh, good, Kate, you ordered the right thing. Awesome. So that is it. Um, yeah, so. Uh, look for the information coming on the ice cream class. That will be the ice cream class will be in May, but uh, I will send that out. If you are not on my mailing list, you will want to go to stampwithjeannie.com. I don't think I have that written anywhere. Oh, I have it at the top of. Oh, that's that's where my face is. I'm not showing you that. Okay, uh, it's stamp with. Oh stampwithjeannie.com. You can join my mailing list and make sure that you don't miss out on any of the information about specials and products and classes and everything that's going on. So let me scroll up. I just want to see if there's any other questions. Oh, the other thing that you might want for um, the weekend's class is the uh, Taylor label. Uh, punch but you don't have to have that you'll be able to use scissors to do that but that a uh, tailor i think it's called tailor 
I don't know. So I, I'm going to be sending out the list shortly. So you'll, you'll see. All right. Oh, yay. Leslie liked the ice cream card. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Going through. I answered what I used to clean the stamps. Oh, I love seeing everybody's favorite ice cream. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Yeah, the crystal effects, Gail. Gail says she loves the crystal effects. That is something you want to have in your arsenal because that takes the cardstock. So if you like to put gels on your, I should lay the card out or something so you're not just looking at my desk here. Here, I'll do it this way. Um, the, uh, it takes the plain paper and just makes it look like any gel. So if you like to have the dimension of the, the gel dots on your cards, and they don't come in that many colors in our catalog, but you can make them any color you want by just punching a piece of cardstock and putting the crystal effects over the top. So the crystal effects is really, really fun. So, and Kate said that the card is great for a child, ladies and men. I, I agree with you. It is a versatile card that you could send to anyone. So um, that is, is a great birthday card. Oh, look at that. I just said that uh, Yummy Licious is in the So Sentimental stamp set. So you could put that inside here before you sign your name as well. I love when I have a stamp and I don't have to write a bunch of stuff. So that's really fun. Okay, gold metal ice cream. Ooh, what is gold metal ice cream? Deborah, are you still here? I don't, what's in gold metal ice cream? Chunky monkey. It sounds good. Yeah, my mom's was Rocky Road. When I was growing up, we always had Rocky Road ice cream. Cherry is another favorite. Cookie Crunch. Ooh, chocolate ripple. Mmm. Okay, now mint chip. Oh, mint chip. Yeah, mint chip's another great one. Ooh. Now I really want ice cream. Ooh, so fun. So is anybody else going to go have ice cream right now? Ooh, strawberry. Rocky Road. Susan, you and my mom. Kate, praline. Mmm. I think that's Katie's favorite is praline, too. Cookies and cream, pistachio. Oh, Beth, you have pistachio on your card. Oh, this is fun. Yay, I love it. Well, ladies, thank you so much. And gentlemen, if there are any gentlemen here, it is so fun to be with you on Mo Motivation Monday. I appreciate that you shared your time with me. Oh, Beth, chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. So oh, I would love that. That sounds really good, Beth. I'm going to have to look that one up. <laughs> a whole carton to myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to go, hey, Dennis, you want to run to the store real quick? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today. I enjoyed being here. Um, hopefully next week I can show my face and thank you in person for being here. So thank you for your shares. Don't forget to share. Thank you for your orders. And thank you for just being here. Take care, everybody. Bye.